We thank the Almighty Allah for enabling us to smoothly transition from the campaigns to this day of inauguration. I am truly honored to stand before you here today to take the oath of office as the governor of our great county for a second time. Truly, all power belongs to Allah, and it's He that chooses who leads at any one time. I am truly humbled beyond words by the firm faith and belief from all the corners of our county. And as I assume office, I assure you that I accept this duty with utmost humility. I believe we were elected on the basis of our message of returning hope and also given a second chance on account of my previous 2013 to 2017 administration's record. I hereby wish to take this early opportunity to thank my predecessors in the outgoing administration headed by Governor Mohammed Abdi Mahmoud for being here today to hand over the baton on this historic inauguration day. I would also like to utilize this opportunity to congratulate all elected leaders led by my able deputy, His Excellency Ahmed Muhammad Abdi, our senator, the women member of the National Assembly, members of the National Assembly, and all the members of the county assembly who were given a chance, who were chosen by the people of Wajir to serve for the term 2022-2027, inshallah. I similarly applaud all the candidates who contested in various seats with an ambition to, to help transform our county and uplift our people. They are leaders in their own right, and they remain significant blocks in the attainment of prosperity for our county. The campaign period is now behind us, and our expectations are before us. I call upon every one of us to focus and channel our energies to providing critical services to our people and developing our county. It is time to restore hope. I want to assure all the people of Ojer County, regardless of which corner of the county they hail from, and irrespective of whom they voted for, that my administration shall do justice and shall serve them equally. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our county, like many others, has undergone a bumpy, challenging period. It demands our focused attention and energy to aid it in its recovery and help get it back on track towards progress. I believe if we join hands, these challenges shall be behind us in the shortest time possible. The time has come to put aside all our grievances and all our differences and to reaffirm our commitment to our county's development. I can see faces filled with optimism and hope in all of us gathered here today. As your governor, I want to assure you that my administration will do everything humanly possible to exceed your expectations and fulfill your hopes and dreams. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Inshallah, next year, 2023, Kenya shall be at 
turning 60. Whereas we admit we are not to blame for the slow pace and delay in development in comparison with the progress enjoyed in other parts of our country, we must now roll our sleeves to earn our county the status it deserves without any shortcuts, without settling for anything that falls short of our people's expectation. Devolution, albeit slowly, is giving us a chance to bridge that developmental gap. We got our first kilometer of tarmac as a result of devolution. A lot of our sub-counties carried out their first cesarean delivery as a result of a devolution of health services. We still have a lot ahead of us to improve our people's lives. And I believe if we join hands, we shall rewrite our county's history. There is so much, there is truly so much before us and much to deliver across almost all sectors. Our traders' tears calls for our urgent intervention to reform our economy by starting with settling all legitimate pending bills. My administration shall begin by paying all small businesses affected by the pending bills gridlock in order to create a thriving business environment and allow reinvestment into our county. Unemployment and lack of opportunities for the burgeoning youthful population remains a time bomb, not only to our county, but also in our country, Kenya. Today, I wish to announce that we shall upscale our programs for the youth through job creation and empowerment initiatives. We shall endeavor to create employment for the qualified youth, particularly health practitioners and ECD teachers, support youth-owned private enterprises and invest in social programs to support less privileged youth. We further recognize the fact that we need to support the expansion of the private sector to allow creation of jobs for as many of our youths as possible. To meet the employment needs of our youth who shall not be able to find opportunities in the public sector. We shall invest in the much needed education infrastructure, such as classrooms, housing for teachers, laboratories, and libraries. We will revive the annual budget fund and increase the allocation to cater for our young populations, for our young people's education. We shall promote maximum enrollment from ECD level and address discontinued learning through bursaries for our bright but needy students. We also pledge to work with the education stakeholders, including the national government, to find a lasting solution to the shortage of teachers in our primary and secondary schools. I further pledge, ladies and gentlemen, to our women that there is hope. We shall invest in business facilities such as market stalls, sheds, and we shall prioritize women empowerment. May I recognize the critical role played by the great female heroines who supported our cause during the just concluded campaigns. I salute all of them. I salute you all. We look forward to reviving the revolving fund and will increase allocation set aside for women-owned businesses. Because when we empower our women, 
families get empowered, and our county is well powered. In my campaigns, I pledge to set up a unit within all departments and ministries of government to deal specifically with matters regarding our women folk. I want to assure you, our sisters, that you will get your rightful share of employment in my government. We will strictly meet the quotas for women and youth in government contracts as well. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, health arguably remains the most vital devolved function. Our people continue to be affected by all manner of preventable and curable illnesses. We shall prioritize our people's health and heal our ailing health sector. We shall ensure our health centers provide the much needed services and offer high quality, accessible and reliable health services. We shall oversee resumption of drug supply to all our health facilities and restock our hospital shelves with much needed medical drugs. We shall prioritize Rather, we shall operationalize the Wajir medical stores. And stock six months cover of essential drugs at all times. To families taking care of the elderly loved ones, we shall relieve you of the burden of medical bills. We shall introduce medical cover for the elderly, 50 years old and above, as pledged on the campaign tree. During the campaigns, as we traversed parts, different parts of our county, we came across carcasses, which with better policies and interventions would have been saved from the drought. The unfortunate loss of such valuable treasure calls us to safeguard both the livestock and the owners. My, my administration shall restore hope to our agriculture and livestock sectors to protect our economic mainstay and source of livelihood. This includes allocating sufficient funding to boost food productivity, to boost food productivity and livelihood protection through halal insurance for our herdsmen. We shall resume further purchasing programs from local farms and supply livestock keepers during the dry seasons. We promise to operationalize the Wajia Abotoa and give our people an opportunity to export meat and livestock products. For the third year in a row, our rainy seasons, both long and short, have either completely failed or registered depressed rains. I take office at a time when our county is experiencing ravaging drought. I call upon all our development partners and the national government to intervene and complement our plans in providing basic help to alleviate suffering caused by the drought. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we shall hugely invest in the water sector by enabling our people access to this precious commodity. I am very much aware of the acute water shortage within the four miles radius of Wajir town and the anxiety this causes to the residents of our county's capital. My administration pledges to fast track the implementation of the Wajir town water and sewerage project funded by the World Bank under the Wajir Water and Sewerage Company, Wajwasco. <laughs> Furthermore, we shall work towards repairing and expanding existing water sources and drilling additional wells to enable sufficient water access to the people, their livestock. My administration shall further avail fully operational technical support 
to allow an interrupted water supply. Ladies and gentlemen, we acknowledge the role played by our religious leaders in imparting the right knowledge of Islam as a means of countering radicalization. As such, we shall create a harmonious collaboration between all stakeholders to address the county's challenges with the help of our clerics, especially in peace building and conflict resolution, family affairs, and social issues. Furthermore, we shall provide critical funding to foster social support for the elderly and issue marriage support fund, marriage support funds to the ready and willing but less privileged among us. <laughs> to persons living with disabilities, this is your county too. We are here to serve you and create a disability-friendly county. In 2013 to 17, my then administration was the first and probably the only among the 47 counties to establish the disability fund for the severely disabled. We will operationalize this fund and increase its beneficiaries. We will protect your rights, provide the needed resources, ensure that, and ensure that you also enjoy equal rights like everyone else. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my administration shall protect public resources, spend justifiably, and make sure that we pay our people and service providers before their sweats dry. We promise never to pay for work not done and never to fail to pay for work done. To our county staff, we thank you for your dedicated service to Wajir. We shall work with you. We shall work together to serve our people by, by providing professional professionalized and interrupted service delivery. Let us seize this chance and give our all to make our county stand tall among the rest. We pledge to respect your rights while demanding accountability from you in line with the laws of the land. Your salaries and emoluments will be paid timelessly but everyone must earn their pay by doing a fair day's work. And to this end, every county employee, every county employee must be at their workstation by tomorrow, Friday. The 26th of August. 2022. Inshallah. I rely on your faith. I rely on your trust and support. I rely on you to share my vision so that we can achieve all we hope for our beloved county. In our mem if, if our memory serves us well, if our memory serves us well, in 2016, our very own Habaswain Hospital, like the other medical facilities in Butte, Giriftu, and Eldas, carried out their first cesarean delivery. <laughs> Baby Ahmed Osman was delivered via cesarean section in Habaswain Hospital. Baby Ahmed who hails from Tesorie village in Wajia South, recently turned six, and he will be joining kindergarten this year. To him and all other children, I promise that we shall resume 
the school feeding program at our ECD facilities and create an enabling environment for the growth and development of our children. We shall work towards restoring hope. We shall, we shall renew public trust in our service provision. We shall revive all the well-functioning policies and be accommodative of new ideas. We shall resume those programs which have always remained our priority in the past and where we see that they are not meeting our people's expectation, we shall reset them all together and plan for the better. These are not my ambitions. We have a new way forward to undertake development for our people. We have fulfilled our pledge in the past and we still hold the same desire and drive to deliver to our beloved county once again. We intend to fulfill every promise to our people on the campaign trail. We are planning to build our JER that we shall all be grateful for in the near future. Our JER that we pride ourselves in. We shall advance our JER agenda and jointly work with neighboring counties under the auspices of the Frontier, County, Frontier Counties Development Council, FCDC Economic Block. In conclusion, I reassure you, my fellow Algerians, that hope is finally here for a great county. Hope is finally here for the bright student who was staring at a bleak future for lack of fees. Hope is finally here for the expectant mother who was stressing about whether an ambulance will rush to an emergency. Hope is finally here for those families trekking miles in search of drinking and cooking water. Hope is finally here for the disabled whose wheelchair has no tires. Hope is finally here for the less fortunate, for the elderly, for every Algerian. Hope is here. Thank you and may God bless you.